to And Here's Modi. Amen. Amen. No, this is it. We this is a long awaited my podcast. I have uh, put this off forever and we put it together and I want to thank uh, I want to thank of course uh, Periel. And she's here. She's uh, the producer of the show with uh, y- your name is infuriating. I just want to <laughs> tell you it's the most no, it's because it's Priel. <laughs> it's it's pre it's like the the fruit of God. Right. But it's not Priel. So she got Periel. Yeah, That's that only extra- because nobody can pronounce it in America. No, but uh, it's just it's for me my dyslexia uh, and all of that no, it just peri- drives me. And she wears peri- these Ellis. earrings, and it's written all out in Hebrew, like she has a whole full half Torah on her <laughs> earring. And so I'm reading it Periel, and then it's, it's about to say uh, uh, I'm, I'm reading it Priel, but it's really Periel. And she and I, I've be, I, you to me are like the Raz <laughs> on Frasier. That's what is that, is that a good. <laughs> And then we have over here also my rabbi. But I want to say it's my friend and rabbi. Most people say my rabbi and friend. I want to say that you definitely are a That's, friend I'm before. I'm terrible at my job. That's why. No, you're the no, you're amazing. You're uh, at a friend and being a rabbi. Thank you. And my name is Modi, and uh, this is my podcast. And this is um, I'm looking really just to bring laughter for is whatever it is an hour or maybe a little bit less on whatever topic we talk about, but. Just, I feel like the best way to know me is is know your rabbi, you know. That's, and so that's terrible advice. It's terrible advice. It's no, ter- no, you're fine. It's great. It's good. No, it's good. you it's are the rabbi. Good. You're the rabbi of the of the uh, as almost. I almost said the Park East Synagogue because I'm so used to saying that. I do so many events for them, but you're not. <clears throat> you're in a much different tax bracket that than that. You are, thing. you are the rabbi of the Sixth Street Synagogue, community, literally community synagogue. The Sixth Street Community Synagogue, That's my us. synagogue for I think over twenty four three years. I was there way before you were, and um, and and here's what happened. I went to L. A. in two thousand and seven to two thousand and ten. And that's when we, we went this whole thing of looking for new rabbis, and we had a whole time where we had no rabbi. And it was so much fun! We had the best time! Jack Liebwald, the owner of uh, Second Avenue Deli, actually his son's now, but we, he sits in front of us, he's family, he's literally family, and he, he runs a lot of the stuff. He's like a good say in what's happening there, right? Am I right or wrong? No, he's... Yeah. Uh, it's, so when we everything. had no rabbi for a minute, first of all, we began d- the prayers at 9. We were done by, by 10.30. That can't be true. It was so true. That you had a canter. We had, you had a canter. Who? Mendel. Oh, no, no, stop. Don't go there. We had me doing the services. He would do one of the services. I would do the other service. But it was just fun not it, to have a rabbi. To, it had to have been chaos. And then we brought These were in the golden years. It had to be chaos. It was, it, was in, it was so much fun. The problem was we had nobody in the synagogue. We barely had a minion. There were, it's this massive synagogue. Was it clean? Not like you, not 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 like you, not like okay, you have okay, it clean. Okay. So just just Sounds the background. Hard. The synagogue is on Sixth Street. It used to be a church, and it was a church that in the year nineteen oh three nineteen oh three, all the members of the church went on a boat ride, and the boat caught fire, and they all died. No Jew was involved in that. There was no insurance. There was no insurance fraud or anything like that. And then the Jews in the Lower East Side, I'm sorry, the, in the East the boat Village. Was, the boat was the general slocum. It was like, it was the single greatest loss of life until 9 11 in, 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 in New York. There was 1,100 people died. Insane. No, no, it's a thing. It's a thing. And, and I will tell you one thing he's obsessed with it. He's obsessed, he looks obsessed no, no, with he, it. Look at the expression. I mean, <laughs> when, he, when he took over the synagogue, there were things he was like, I'm going to this, I'm going to that. And I'm going to drain this general Slocum thing for everything it's <laughs> worth. Yeah, yeah, Plaques and this. And whoever was a survivor of the thing and uh, families of a survivor, he brings in their grandkids and he we was a, obsessed the slo- with it. The, we, the Slocum Aleichem event. <laughs> 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 it was too soon. It was too it was soon. Too we could have done it. We o- do only it. 100 years. 120 years. Slocum Aleichem. Slocum Aleichem. Do you remember we used to get German tourists? Do you oh. remember? That was actually, I think that was. When yes. we when we both realized that we like were silly together, 
that he did said, you guys know each other before you became the rabbi? So I was again. I was in L.A. doing. I, I was serving three years in L.A. doing nothing for my career. Came back here, and Jack says there's a new rabbi. And my dad yeah. goes to the synagogue. My dad loves the synagogue and loves this rabbi and loves his mother. My, my, yeah, my a dad, too much. My dad just you know always does hagba. That, that when you pick up the Torah and walks around with it, and whenever he walks, he stops and gives his mother a kiss right on the lips or the forehead, and then continues. It's, it's, a, a, lot. Good, it's a lot. It's a lot. That's a lot. She's it's... almost happy Corona happened because that <laughs> ended, that, that, that that's, ended. How, that's how it started. That's how. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. So I came back, and they said there's a new rabbi, and there's a new this, and he's not like this like passive guy. He's he was the rabbi of the 16th Street Young Israel, right? And they closed down because of the whatever the property and what happened. Yeah, the, we lost the building, so we had built up this nice community, but we had no building. You had a building without much community. We had six so people. So it was like it was good. That we, was, no, uh, we, we good really setup. had we had a minion. We had a congregation of 12 people. But say for the listeners, they might not know what a minion is. The, uh, a, uh, a quorum, a decorum. What we had a called? quorum, a, a quorum, quorum of 10 people, 10 men, 10 men, and all of them, and all of them would. We, we just everybody knew what to do. I would do the service. I would do the the, the prayers. My dad would. No one had to tell anybody what to do. You go pick up the Torah. You go open the ark. Everybody had their set thing to do because there were only ten men. But you need ten men to do what is what I'm getting at. To make a, a quorum. So you're gonna drag this whole thing into a halacha I mean, class. I mean, people we're don't know what you're talking about. Okay, so they'll move on to the next topic <laughs> that we get to. You're giving a whole biblical class. Roz, I need you to. <laughs> what's the button that, that shuts Roz off? Um, <laughs> So my, my dad was used to every and picked it up. And my dad's in his eighties; he's always proud. I pick it up. It's all on one side. It's all on the other side. I pick it up. Now, 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 whenever now, now every week, whenever he does hagba, he picks up the Torah. Half the room runs out; they don't want to fast. Uh, now she's gonna have to explain that. Yeah, whatever. Oh my okay. God! No, no, no. Onward no. we go. Um, and then, uh, and so he became the rabbi and rocked this place into another level. First of all, Friday night when you go there now. There's this whole young vibe. It's like J Date blew up in there, right? It's how cute is that? Is it's, the, it's cute. It's good. It's, it's really it's good. And it's, he it's, always has food and drinks and the whole show sponsored by Toby uh Tubi. Tubi sixty. They're not sponsors, but they love us. They love Tubi sixty, which is this alcoholic beverage from Israel that is so delicious and you do something with it that's insane. What do you we do? freeze we make the it? Slushies. We, yeah. You could drink yeah. fifteen of these, not feel it. You walk out of the synagogue and all of a sudden, whoa, <laughs> that's when it hits you. No, the whole yeah, you know, I'll tell you, the whole premise of what I try to do is make sure less horrible than the horrible shul you grew up in. And there are gonna be certain signals for that, and they're gonna be certain certain structures that are preserved and, and make it bearable, make it good, make it predictable, make it delicious, check your boxes, but get through it. People have somewhere to go. Let them let them go. Be mindful of people's time, but also have delicious things. You know, this Tubi drink, so Tubi, it, it's it's in Israel. People associate it with vacation, with birthright, right. with year in, in Israel. So then they come to my shul and they see it, and it's like this this relief washes over them. It's They, they, they get to have this drink that's 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 vacation, and, and it's not that Canadian club that okay. they until remember. they until they sponsor this podcast. That's all they're getting. <laughs> could yeah. you could you enough with the Tubi? I just threw it out there like that, and yeah, you right, gave sorry. a whole sales pitch I, as if we're they. But you better call them and get them to sponsor this. I'm literally calling them when we uh, leave. Right, this right. Room. When you call, absolutely, Roz. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, so it's it, it and there's a big JFK community in our synagogue. JFK. JFK, and by JFK, it's just for Kiddush. It's people that show up, and they don't even go to the synagogue. They go right downstairs to Kiddush, and it's a big social hour. But it's amazing. Yeah. They came to synagogue. My, my, my father always is in show. We sit like in the back, and my father doesn't see what's going on behind. But people just do their walk through and go downstairs. And I go, there's only 30 people here. There's only 30 people. We go downstairs. There's 200 people. It's not bad. It's, it's pretty. No, but good, good for you. At yeah, least they're no, connected. No, it's, it's they have a place. Keep them. Keep them. Keep them. There are a lot, and of, it's an, it's there are a a lot of reasons for normal people to not want to go to shul. Right. There are a lot of reasons. Even in our shul, there are a lot of reasons. Sometimes it's just too early. Sometimes Whatever it is. Whatever it is. So yeah, if yeah. you get them, whenever you get them, and grateful it's, for them. And it's, an, it's a completely orthodox synagogue. There's a mechitza, there's a, a divider between the men and the women, but it's super 
like as least as you can. <laughs> it's not some crazy wall or some planting plants that are up there, the trees to the sky. It's soup. It's kosher and chill. Do you go to synagogue? Like to every- be wine. Hello, folks. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget to order your. Do you go to synagogue every Friday? I try to go either Friday or Saturday. Um, I it, it's I'm traveling a lot. You know, so when I do, like I was in the West Hampton uh, this weekend. Next weekend, I'm going to Europe, and so it's hard to get there. But when you're not in the Hamptons, yes, when I'm not, I, I come to the synagogue, and um, and we, 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 it's 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 a vibe. It's definitely, it's it's you know what? It's such a big synagogue that it's really choose your own adventure. If you want to go up front and pray and go into some meditative mode, you have that. If you want to go talk to your friends, you can find your little corner. And you, you're not bothering anybody. Right. No one's shushing you. You do your do your thing. You so know? are you guys like redefining what it means to be orthodox a little bit? Because it doesn't sound super orthodox. No, I wouldn't say. I, I wouldn't say that. I, I think we need. I don't know. We we don't take ourselves too seriously, and we don't hit people with too many rules, and we err on the side of hospitable and welcoming and. And we want to be pleasant. We want to be pleasant. There are a lot of a lot of these synagogues. They take themselves so ser- so ma- so many rules, and it's not for everyone. And it's, it's certainly not for me. So that's is that a redefinition? I think it's picking your battles, and I, I think it's making good choices. It's, it's and speaking of battles, one of the things I love most about <laughs> this rabbi, he loves a good a good battle. First of all, you should know like this: as the reason I believe you have the confidence you have is because you're so smart. In his Torah knowledge, in his Talmud, in his Torah, nah. he, listen, the, the audience, the audience is, it's, it's learned, we're not like uh, yeshiva, you know, great learners of Torah and all that, but sometimes he, he'll hit us with a speech that's so on crazy level and layered with Rambam, Maimonides and Nachmanides and the Talmud and the Torah and it's so above what the synagogue needs but you could just tell he had it in him and he just wanted to just it was sweet. like a, because he's so smart it's like those kids in, in high school it's like those kids in high school where they were wise asses why because they knew they were going to get a hundred on the test they never in their mind they never thought of getting a B or a B plus they knew they were going to get an A so they can tell the teacher to go you know stick it up his chalk but but so his confidence is so he always if there's a battle to be had he would do it the, uh, the a roof the a roof yeah let's make people's lives better so we have that yeah explain a roof those of you who don't know a roof it is uh, like a <laughs> dental floss that you tie around the neighborhood and it's a perimeter and this allows you to carry on the sabbath we'll leave it at that if that's not enough for you google but that so he decided he wants one for the downtown for downtown and the rabbis uptown for whatever reason no, the, the very downtown the very the, the lower east side rabbis didn't want it that's who you guys have totally lost me i have no idea what this thing is oh so it, l- 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 let's say like, uh, like okay. the lower east side see this yeah okay. what what, what? No, it's a string. It's a string. It okay. goes around. You make a. It's a string that goes around a certain neighborhood. Let's okay. say 14th Street between First and Fifth, all okay. the way down to Grand Street. It's a and there's a string that's connected, right? And now it's a it's a it's a perimeter, and because that's there, you can carry. You can bring a bottle of wine to your neighbor on Shabbat. Oh, so okay. he it fought for it. It makes a big di- it makes a big difference for women. Is that, that's like a real thing? It's a, it's yes, a, real, it's it's a, a real thing. It's a legal fiction. This is literally a bit I have. When, <laughs> do the, when you, when do you, the bit. No, when you, describe, <laughs> when you describe the crazy stuff we do to Jews who aren't observant, they're like, do you hear yourselves when you're saying these things? Like, I'm imagining somebody walking around with a thing of dental floss in, like, it's Chinatown. Exactly what, it's fishing, exactly what it is. Wire, yeah. It's like a fishing wire. It's completely out there. But he made that for the lower, for the downtown. We, we, we push the boundaries. I have me. I can't. I, I, get, I won't get up on a ladder. Are you crazy? It has to be checked. We have, we, that's a, Who's there's, checking there's a it? That's a job. So there's a firm. It's part of a large. It's part of a larger thing, and we got to we got to extend it. We got to extend it, and that was the extension of it was controversial, because you know we there was a neighborhood that didn't want it, and we. So did you're it anyway. a controversial orthodox I'm really rabbi. Not. I'm really. I'm picking. I'm, I'm picking, really not. I'm okay. Not. Am I? 
Well, there was battles. a dinner. There was a dinner I'm for this organization called Heschel. Yeah, Eschel. 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 Yeah. Eschel is school. Right. Yeah. Eschel yeah. is. Good one. What's Eschel? Eschel, what's like the tr- Eschel Avram. Uh, okay. Like the the uh, the tree, hospitality the, tree. Right. So, yeah. tell us about that. Uh, there's an organiz- there's an organization for LGBTQ Orthodox Jews. Really? And, you know, no one ever, no one ever taught me. Listen, I, I grew up in the West Village. I this this was never particularly weird to me. This wasn't this wasn't a thing. But no one still, no one ever taught me how to relate to this demographic in in in, in effective ways, in 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 ways that they needed to, f- in kindness that they needed to experience. No one ever taught us that. And so there's this organization called Eshel. They swoop in and they help us. They tell us what to do. They help them. And this the, the, this group, people that want LGBTQ, that wants anything to do with orthodoxy, so that, ortho, that orthodoxy should turn But they its are back. orthodox yeah, Jews. They, are, of course. they keep the Sabbath. So, they keep kosher. So, yeah. But that orthodoxy should turn its back on them is not what I want to do. It's yeah, not it's what horrible. I want to perpe- it's not what I want to perpetuate. And so we've uh, we've worked with them quite a bit. Uh, we've been good to them. They've been good to us. Um, that's you know, incredible. We want the synagogue to be open for... <laughs> the, 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 no one's beyond the pale. Okay, it's certainly so not that's this demographic. R- is not beyond so, the pale. So, okay, so why do I love him? <laughs> that's so enough no, no, right that's there, not, right? That's not enough. So, that's okay. That's why I like him. I love him because uh, he decided, you can do your dinner in my synagogue. That would be enough. He makes a cake for them. Wait, no, 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 no. It's a, that's not what happened. It's, it's, we made the dinner, and we, we, annou- we announced the dinner. We put it on social media, and within two minutes, my phone is blowing up. Mm-hmm. And they're all, they're all 718 numbers. <laughs> you know, it's just, it's just <laughs> horror. It's horrifying. <laughs> and, I, like, and I'm so phobic. I get the craziest calls. I can't deal with it. I can't deal with it. So I, I let everything go to, vo- go to voicemail. And each one... Each one is another rabbi who's telling me not to have this dinner. And it's from the Lower East Side, and it's from Brooklyn. And it's like they all, there's some kind of like WhatsApp group. I think this was before WhatsApp, but they, they somehow they, they, they hit the bat signal, and they all just like jumped on me. And, I, you know, I, had, I made the mistake of one conversation. And listen, I'm also, I grew up modern. I grew up modern Orthodox. I'm uh, an, an adult in a democracy. I'll do what I do. You do what you do. Whatever. Why do we even have to have a conversation about it? It's a waste of time. But I made the mistake of having a conversation about it, and it just it, it made everything worse. The cake. So, Get to the so cake. So wait. So they made. So no, this is an important part. They so they wrote a. They made a letter. They made a, a They uh, they 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 made they made an objection. They wrote a letter. And they all had their signatures. To who on the does the, the letter? Cake. To the to to I don't know. The, to you. To, to me. To everybody. They hung to it. To God. They hung it in the they butcher. They hung it in all they the hung synagogues. They hung it in the bakery. They yeah, yeah, put yeah, it yeah. on. They, they were they're putting it on cars. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. It's all. It's all the synagogues. It's good. It's, it's total. It's PR. It's like free PR. <laughs> yeah, it's PR. <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> wait it PR. gets better. Go so ahead. I think at that point my assistant was working for me for like thirty two seconds. I, I screamed to Neil, like get go go to the Lower East Side. Get to the Lower East Side and take a picture of the sign. I gotta have this sign. Like, okay, go go. So he goes off. He takes. He gets. The, he sends me the picture. I immediately I send it to to my friend Richie Heisler. He a picture it. of the letter so saying the with letter. all the rabbi signatures. So I send I, I send I send it to Richie Heisler, who owns a, a, a kosher bakery in Teaneck. Don't Butterfly. plug anybody else. Butterfly. Unless <laughs> don't don't, don't, <laughs> don't start plugging it's people. Delicious. You like cupcakes. So he 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 he. he We're he, looking for sponsors. I tell him to print it onto a sheet cake. By the way, only Jews eat sheet cakes, right? You've never like that's no not like, Mormons, so maybe Mormons. We invented the sheet cake. Anywho, so the we the, we print it onto. The, I tell him to print it on the sheet cake and decorate it with rainbows. This is what we're serving at the dinner for dessert. It was the best. I have and goosebumps. That's it was and amazing. Way, okay, but by the way, Modi, you, send the you picture. Touch, maybe you, you can put it up sure, somewhere. Sure. Totally. Modi, you're touching on you're, you're touching on, on on something important. You said like I'm good at this because I'm smart. This isn't smart. This isn't smart me. This is the this is the funny kid who can smell a bully a mile away. And I could always use that. I always had that ability to like weave out of that kind of situation in this like non-confrontational yet like you you, you get your points across and you get it you get it done. So yeah, and then we we obviously we we publish we we it was we, the we, best. We, we, we we put the cake on social media <clears throat> and it became a whole thing. It and and our, they were more that's incredible non LGBT members at the dinner than there were LGBT yeah, members. We it, got was a it was packed. 
packed. Yeah. No, it was it was it was that delicious. really packed. is incredible. Yeah. Incredible, incredible. I mean, I don't. I listen. I, I'm I'm I, I'm thankful to the Lower East Side community in, in in many ways. I mean, their authenticity and they preserve all sorts of things and and, and they do work. They do work that I could never do, and, and and that's very very important. I think that they're probably secretly grateful to me for doing the work that they don't want to do. So we're kind of we're in a good place on on this topic. It, it's okay, but at the time it was it was a little bit it was rough. And again, I don't like confrontation. It made me upset, but it was also you know I don't let I I don't show it. So I get jokey and so I get I, a little silly. I live in the Lower East Side, okay. Um, and the synagogues are there, and the vibe of the Orthodox Jews in that place, it's literally in the, in the 1990s or 70s or 80s even. On my, uh, behind my, my building, there's this, like, 12 syna- like, like, like five synagogues. I mean, it's... And they have no minion. They look little... No one ever cleaned them no, up. No one ever... No, but there's, but they're, they're suffering. If you think of it from just like a demographic perspective, everyone moved. Everyone who could move did move. And so it's a community where it just where every where a lot of people are gone. Their children are gone. Again, they don't use the Arab, so it's really hard to live there. So the people who are there have really sacrificed to be there. And they're a wonderful community in so yeah, it's many wonderful ways. Wonderful, and they're in sa- so listen, many ways. The, the ambulance, important. the Hatsala, there's a mikvah, there's a chevr kedisha. I don't the do any of these people things. that handle the dead people. There's there's a mikvah, the the the, the ritual bath that, that that makes you pure but and all this that. Was, but this was their it's ha- all the, there. But, but but this was their hang up, and it wasn't my hang up, and it was my hang up because I didn't grow with it. Be I didn't grow up with it being a hang up. Okay, so besides being my rabbi. And uh, all of that, but he's also an amazing comedy writer. Thank you. He's an amazing. First of all, he's hysterical. When something happens, he'll right away text me, like the most inappropriate thing you could ever say about it. And we keep it between ourselves. Yeah, not like it's I'm, for I'm us. Not, you know, so I'm not twittering it and uh, and all that. It's he's hilarious. Now, two things he helped me write with, and by help me, he almost wrote the whole thing. I did uh, roasts for the commentary magazine, and I wasn't going to do it. Because when you do a roast, it's like this. If you kill, no one finds out about it. If you bomb, everybody finds out about it. So the best thing when someone asks you to do a roast is say, no, thank you. But I go to him, you know, commentary magazine wants me to do a roast, and the first one was... Was Lieberman. Was uh, Senator Lieberman. So I'm like... Ugh. I go, okay, send me who's going to be on the roast. I send him all the names. I send it to, 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 to Gav, and he looks, he goes, say yes, say yes fast. Go tell him you want to do it. Go tell him you want to do it. He starts to send me these jokes, and we hone them out. And it's online. Go to, um, go to my, my YouTube site, and you'll see uh, my YouTube page, and you'll see the, the roast. And I promise you, half the delivery is me. <laughs> and the tweaking is me, but he wrote, and then when they called me to do Ben Shapiro's roast, he didn't even ask. He didn't even, he goes, just, just say yes, just say yes. Okay, and then they were like, you know. This is why I was put on this planet. They, like, yeah. And he wrote, literally like, I wanna say you wrote 70 things, we chugged it down to seven, and they all nailed. They all yes. were huge. It was, he's an amazing comedy writer, and whenever he comes to, to, to one of my shows, He's very often, you'll see him in the back of the comedy cellar just waiting for me to get off or at the Village Underground, especially if I take the lounge on my own, he'll come and he'll... Uh, and the Lieberman, the Lindsey Graham joke at the Lieberman one was like the great, was one of the greatest moments of my life. I was, I was, I was so upset. Oh, wow, wow. I was sitting there. I, I get like, Spielke, I get like, I, you know, I get anxious about it because it's so good, but it's, it was so, it was... It was, it was, but do, it do was you remember it? Do you the, remember the, the joke was this. The joke was, it was that. wait. It was right after the Kavanaugh hearings. So already I was like super mad. So the joke was Lindsey Graham was here. Senator Graham loves a roast. He loves to laugh. It's because, in truth, he doesn't take himself too seriously. You know who else he doesn't take too seriously? Women who have been assaulted. <laughs> and it was like, it was like amazing. Oh. It was just great. And then you had the other line about, what's her name? Uh, Dana Perino. Oh, God, that's not Dana super P- sure. That was, yeah, no, it was the good, best good. line ever. And the room literally she was just, so mad. She us. hated me. Oh. She hated me. Ted Cruz hated me. Because, um, you know, Ted Cruz, A, Ted Cruz was mad that we didn't write enough about him. Oh, but yeah, yeah. We only gave one shtech, and it wasn't yes. even that good. He was like, why aren't you guys doing me a little yeah, more? I mean, we're in a room with Ben Shapiro and Ted Cruz. Could you brecht? 
There was good Sharansky material. Sharansky was that. <laughs> but let me tell you, the thing about with Ben Shapiro was this. You know, obviously on media and all that, he's crazy the things he says. And they're out there. In person, the nicest guy nicest you ever guy met in your life. Hi, how are you? It's like a little bar mitzvah. Son, Hi, how are you? How was, are you doing? He was so much nicer than I am. So nice. Like, I was so upset. I wanted him to just be horrible. And he was He was, he was so sweet and so nice. And you can almost tell that he, that he, it's a shtick. It's, he found no, it, yes. No, no, Listen, he's gifted, he can gab, he can get lines out, he can, he's smart. Come on out. He's, he's a totally gen- smart, a genius. but he says horrible things. That's his angle. That's his no. angle. Okay. No, no. I, uh, showbiz, baby. He's one of the number one podcasts. Yeah. He's one of the number one podcasts. He's get booked for billions of dollars. He's he found his shtick. Okay. Whatever I whatever I it's his shtick. Let's Give, be the number two podcast. No. Okay. I'll be the number one. I'll be the number one if you better. want. But but he's doing his thing. Now, now in the synagogue, we had some funny stories that we were thinking about. So about German s- tourists is a good one. German tourists is great. What I happened mean, there? They, they, so the, the, we're on some kind of because of the slocum. Back to the slocum. So because of the slocum, we're on some German. It was a German evangelical Lutheran church. So we're on some like walking tour. So oh, we used to right. get like these people that like in ne- on the on the on the on the on the tour info. It never told them like uh, spoiler alert. It's a synagogue. <laughs> like since 1940, it's been a synagogue. They, they thought they were going to see a, a, the, the, the in, church like, of, of see a church, and it's it is not a church. So they, they walk in and they're they're and they're just like deer in the headlights. And we were it was like during the half tour or something. So we're in the back kibitzing, and um yeah, I'm terrible at my job. And we're we're in the back kibitzing, and we see these two German old, older German women come in, and you wanted to you wanted to crack me up. So you say, uh, you go over to them and you say, hi, welcome. These are Jews. Don't feed them or they'll just complain more. And don't they, don't they, feed them. They'll, they'll they, send it back. They laugh. Like they don't feed them. Yeah. They'll send it back was the line. <laughs> you have to understand there's a tour of Germans it's coming so through. Good. So in, amongst <laughs> themselves, you hear, and now the synagogue is this beautiful two doors that open. And then there's a little hallway and you see another two doors, like a church. You look inside a church. It's what it looks like. And all you see is men covered with talasim, with the, with the prayer shawl. They're raising the Torah. They're walking around with the Torah. And it is not these church. Germans showed it's up. The best. And so, it, I, so then I stole your joke. Ch- I, I want to be worse. So I stole your joke. I said, uh, this isn't the whole congregation. Many of us are still hiding in the walls. I said, come Hello. in. Come in Hello, come in. folks. <laughs> you can come out now. Yes. This, we have more members. They're just in the wall right now. <laughs> <laughs> is it is the first podcast too too is it too soon to do a Holocaust joke on the first podcast? It's never too soon. Oh, it's to never do too, do soon. A too soon. Um, and Slocum then and Holocaust. Together. Okay, so and now okay, so I would I would usually do the the Musaf service, the second service, because you know whatever. Um, what do you mean whatever? You're great. It was great, and great. we actually. What do you mean went, you would do it? We do the the, the so this in the Shabbat on Saturday morning. There's two services: the Shacharit and then Musaf. So you have the two services, and usually it's t- two different guys do it, and so I would do the second one, and um, that's the real star. That's the that that you that's get the, the closing. Like the that's the A-list. closing. You get the, the A-lister for Musaf. Right, the, right. So now I big, I business. studied I studied cantorial singing at the Bell School of Music, and so did he. So oh wow! Was, I mean, yeah, yeah, you know I and sort he, of I think I remember you. You don't remember uh, around me. Ma- Malavani's it was, piano. There was two cantors there that yeah. taught the, Malavani, one of the head cantors on Fifth Avenue, the head cantor of Fifth Avenue, singing for like a thousand years, and then Cantor Beer, whatever. And they they taught the the nusach, the the motif of the, the prayers, mu- the music to word formula. So like how you apply music to the words prayer. Right. Okay. So you know. So which which also sets the tone and also fits with what's happening. And so so we knew the same stuff. And now he's very, very, very musically inclined. He has a good ear, and for some reason, he lo- even though he sings on key, he loves to sing in the most annoying voice. Sometimes I, have a ter- I mean, I, have I a can't terrible tell. Voice. I have, no, my tonality is perfect. My he, voice, it's not good. I you don't can good tell voice. when he's angry with the synagogue. He'll just oh, <laughs> he'll just. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. <them. laughs> Anyway, so we had that in I, common. By the way, I'm amazing. That's what my mom tells me. Oh, his mama. D- 
<laughs> if you ever want to see a the, real everyone loves Raymond, the voice of an angel, come <laughs> to the synagogue and his mother and him. It is such an Oedipus situation. Ew, Ew right? Ew. 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 I shouldn't have said that. Can you bleep that out? No, it's fine. It's fine, right? Ew. Ew. It's like now you. Ugh. Anyway, so um, beautiful woman. Be- she's amazing. And <laughs> oh my apparently, God. Modi's father thinks so wow. too, right? By the way, he likes what he likes. Funnier than him. I was on a Zoom event also with her. Also not true. I was on a Zoom oh. event with her. She cracked me up. You, you remember that? It was the funniest thing I. Uh, you she were was, at Shiva. It wasn't a Zoom event. You were at Shiva. Oh my God. You were <laughs> my Shiva. wife's Shiva. Your 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 <laughs> wife's your wife's father passed away. Yeah. We were on the Zoom. A Zoom event. And my mom He's and going. Did, I was at a Zoom comedy show. No, <laughs> no Shiva, no, no. It, Shiva, and the, his mother was on fire. Now, if we do need to do a plug for anything, for anything, his wife. His wife is a real estate is, is a an estate lawyer. She handles wills and and um, wills. Yeah, and, and what trusts. else? Wills and trusts and all that. His wife Corey yeah. is genius and the easiest person on earth to work with. What's her like? What's the website? I, this Rob, I would p- Robinson Robinson Estate Law. That's the Robinson Robinson Estate Law. What a gush name! Yeah, that yeah. doesn't sound very Jewish Ugh. at all. Corey Robinson. She sounds Corey like a football Robinson. player. She. It doesn't look a football player. Yeah. I by didn't the way, by the way, by the way, it happens. Oh my so it happens, God. It happens all the time. So all these people think that like everybody, like all these elderly Jews think that it, Corey Robinson is going to be someone scary. So she she comes in. She comes in. She comes in and they're so relieved and she sees them like turning their rings back around. Oh, wow. Yeah. She's the sweetest and the easiest to work with and the worst job in the world she, the world she has. Her, could you imagine your job, everything that you say starts off with, well, God forbid a bus hits you and God forbid <laughs> you're on a ventilator and God forbid you're, not just in case you're ever drooling as a vegetable on a hospital bed, do you want the plug pulled? I'm like, I want the generator. B- <laughs> Did she ask you if, like, she should call me to ask what to do with your rotting body? <laughs> no, I, I, I'm I left you. I left I'm you. I'm offended. One of the things he's not, I'm super into, like, when you die, I want someone to say Kaddish for me. I want to be buried in this and that. He's not a big thing on that. It's not your, it's not your Mila. It's not your big wow. thing, isn't it? I don't know. No, for no, you he, it would be. He, Nah, I want to. I got someone who's super into that, but you're not like you're like. Wait, you what, die, do you, you what do you what do you want <laughs> to happen? He's like, like, you die, you die. You want someone talking about you? Like, yes. Oh, the roast. I mean, it'll be amazing. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, we'll commentary. Magazine. One of the funniest thing in the world. Now, he's a genius. He. Fi- I can't spell to save my life. I'm dyslexic. I'm. It's a mess. So many comedians are. No, no, but in in our synagogue, we have those of you who don't know what a synagogue in the synagogue. There's always the plaques of the dead people. There's little plaques and the guy's name in English and in Hebrew and the date. He walked around the synagogue one day and just started finding all these spelling mistakes. It's bad. And oh started my sending God. them to me. And I, I think, well, I don't know where I was. I couldn't catch my breath. He just goes, this isn't this. And they were like, wh- some it's, of them were like, wh- it's just terrible. give me like two examples of the really, really horrible spelling mistakes in the <laughs> plaques that are, Fifty plus years old. Yeah, no, I don't. I don't even know. Bad. It's bad. It was bad. A lot. Like you, you know, the dates when we do a date in Hebrew, it's like two mm-hmm. letters. But like, it's a date that doesn't exist. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't exist. The four hundred. The, the four hundred sixth day of Shvat. Right. Like, right. And there's like and there's like a little can. That there's always you know how there's like uh-huh. a little light bulb next to the plaque, and on the anniversary you go and you turn the light bulb They're for a, a misspelled <laughs> I mean, their name. So what do we do? Do we like correct? We do. Is that part? It's part of our charm. It's part of our no, charm. no, no. We no, left it. No, it. it's, it's genius. Like it's genius. It's genius. Sounds like the menus in Israel. Right. Everything's oh, just yeah, misspelled. The, the, the so, 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 what? So, one year, about seven years ago, he asked. He said, "I want you to do the Kol Nidre service, the Yom Kippur evening service. It's the biggie. It's the biggie. It's like the Neil when you see the jazz singer and Neil Diamond." The whole the whole movie crochet the the top of it was when he sings the Kol Nidre so cancel our vows okay so Let's do it. so okay we'll do it I said I want to prepare I want you and me to work on it and this and that and he we found good songs to to do we the, took out the keyboard we're playing no it was we had so a, fun a, so much fun and I said to them you know look 
Before I do this, I want to sage the synagogue. I'm a big believer in sage. You're not. Okay, I had no idea. He, he shows up with the biggest joint I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> You know the stage. Look at yeah, I'm into it. I'm, I'm with I'm it. So I'm so into it. Yeah. Smudging, it. Yeah. smidging. Yeah, yeah. S- smudging. Yeah. yeah, you're supposed to clear. We should have done it in here, actually. It's a synagogue frankly. that used to be a church that everybody died in a in a, in a a fire yeah. on, a, on a river. Yeah. Yeah, we're staging it before yeah. I do Kol Nidre services. Now, the synagogue the synagogue is upstairs, the, the main sanctuary. And downstairs is a whole area for the... Which he rented out to a school that had kids that were... Autistic. Autistic. Okay. Now, I'm upstairs saging the synagogue, doing the Anabakoach, this prayer, and just getting, I want to just have good vibes before before Yom Kippur. All of a sudden, you hear 25 kids screaming, <laughs> screaming on a, like, like, and the Oops. teachers are running upstairs. What the hell are you guys doing up here? What are you doing? We were, it was, we got yelled at. We got yelled at. I don't know yeah. what it is, but I guess kids. No, and, so and that's a thing that they're, they're very sensitive to smells. That's, that's it's just spirits. That's part of the condition. It's not smells. They no, couldn't no, no, smell no, no, it. No, it's the smell. It's the smell of the sage. They're very sensitive. To, that's what it was. Well, you you, did, you ruined this whole you, story in my, you, my head. In my think, head, I thought that the ki- the spirits in the synagogue the di- were moving you, you, around. You got the dipic out of them. That the was di- your, that was your theory. That was your little theory going. The You're dipic called the dread, a them. little sage. The you got dipic. the dipic out of twenty five autistic kids oh in my shul. Oh my god! What are you god. talking about? I saged the. I you saged, saged. It was the smell. It wasn't. The, I thought we would have the same how reaction. How could they smell? They were downstairs. They were downstairs. It was a huge joint. That's how we started the story. It was. It was a torch. It was a tour, but it was to get the spirits. It, it moved the spirits of out of the walls. It, it moved the spirits the, out of the walls. It wasn't the smell. The kids were the kids. You're people, out of your mind. Kids that are autistic or 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 Downton, they have special connections. No, I think I thought they do. No, they have lots are, of connections. Okay. Sure, of course. Okay. What right. are you talking about? Anyway, I... Uh, uh, slokum Aleichem. Slokum Aleichem, and uh, see you next Tishrei. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Tishrei is the Hebrew month. The, 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 the year begins, those of you who don't know. And I'm, I'm assuming people at this point in the podcast know what I'm talking about. Some of them do, some of them don't. I didn't know what the Eruv, is that what it is? Yeah, that's yeah. I didn't know what that is, and I'm like a pretty good Jew, I'm a pretty good Jew. Right. I'm a that's a good. That's a good, good title Jew. for something. I love that she said that. Most Jews that aren't Orthodox say, "Well, look, I'm not really a good Jew. I eat ham and and shrimp and this and that." She eats all that probably and goes, "I'm a very good Jew." <laughs> very As good. she's got the shrimp little, that little that little zanav that little uh, oh. that what's it called the the, the little tail. Ew. First Ew. of all, so I'm gr- a vegetarian. Shrimp is so great. Even if I was oh, straight, even a, if I ate not kosher, a Jew. Are you vegetarian. I'm a vegetarian. Yeah. Are you? Yeah. Okay. But you guys, you get what and I'm talking about. And I'm a pretty about. good Jew. No, nah, you're a pretty good Jew because you're a good human being. Right. Yeah, yes. you're not because. But, but also do... because you know I speak Hebrew and like that I know make you things. A good Jew. Well, it you that know doesn't make you, it, you get Jew. a point. That makes you. I get a point. I get like a point of knowledge for knowing the language, Rabbi. The the shul keys. Give it to her. Just give it to her. It's gonna be too. It's gonna be schleppy. Just give it to her. Give it to her. Yes, Roz. Roz, you're a very good Jew. Thank you. God. I am a good Jew. I send my son to Hebrew school. Now we're feeling out. Now we're feeling out. It's the first podcast. We're feeling out the neediness of everybody. Now we're getting the needy. Validate me. Validate me. Hold on. So one of the segments I want to have on the show is called "Who's Your Rabbi?" Who's your rabbi? My rabbi. No, yes, and but a rabbi is it, the definition is a teacher. Yeah, who right? do you go to? So who do you go to for? Who's your guy? Now there's or also there's like a you know so there's a rabbi and there's a rav, the a spiritual guru you go to. But for day to day things, there's a rabbi. Like if you is this really kosher? Should I do that? Is it good if I you know then yeah so you got what's you gotta, yours? So you got to run things past people. I have. I have a bunch, you know, I have Rabbi Adam Mintz on the Upper West Side. He's a total gem, genius, lovely, fascinating person. Uh, you know, Rabbi Sachs, Chief Rabbi, was good to me when he was when he was downtown. He was, yeah, he was good to me. He hated you. He hated me. <laughs> he hated this you. was the Chief Rabbi of of England. He, by the way, he found me very funny. I and hated my he ad. told me you were the, the worst. The <laughs> oh worst. my God! Really? Yeah. Let me show you. Let me tell you about ego. Let me give you ego. So, 
My ego, not his. He's just, he was a saint. Um, uh, I did this show one time in uh, at a Passover program or some some yeah. show where there was eight hundred people in front of me. I mean, he wasn't. And he's in the back. Laughs. And someone tells me before before I go on, they said to me, Rabbi Sachs came to your show. So he was at this Passover programs. Um, Passover pro- Passover is eight days, and Jews go to a place where they don't have to do anything that they're supposed to do just to be. You know, to celebrate the holiday, so they bring lecturers and speakers and all that. So he was the main speaker. I was the comedian. There was a band and the whole thing. So they told me he came to see your show. So now I killed. Like I did an extra ten minutes because I was such a high with the audience. Such an amazing, amazing show. And then the next morning at the buffet, the breakfast buffet, I go, "Where's Rabbi Sachs? I want to ask him. I want to have my ego stroke that he <laughs> thought it was great." So I go over to him and I go, hi, Rabbi Sachs. It's a pleasure and honor to meet you. And uh, I heard you were at the show last night. What did you think? Oh, he goes, I thought you were a little racist. Oh, oh. my <laughs> God. I had some edgy jokes. They weren't racist. No. But that's what he thought. It was all about Jews. It wasn't about other people. So, I mean, anyway, but he, uh, <laughs> it was just, it was just a, uh, it was, you know, it was, it was a, it was a keep your ego in check, dumb comedian. <laughs> he is also, what that he was. also hated the smell of sage. <laughs> hated it. <laughs> I did sage that theater before I performed yeah, in that's there. A, oh, that's hilarious. what happened. That's what happened. I should have saged yeah. this room before oh. I got it. Did this show in him? Is he how still are you, alive? How are you not into? Say, you're, not, you're not like a spiritual, spiritual I person. No, yeah. no, no, he does. He I sings am. and. Uh, but, I, I don't like the quick fix. You know, I don't like the magic. I don't like magic. I don't like magic. I hate magic. This is magic. What do you think Sage is? No, it's not no. magic. It's, it's science. Thank it's, God, no, thank God <laughs> Roz is on the, on the side with me on this. No, it's what are you, Sage. What are you doing? It's good. It's good. It's it very good. It goes back to like Native American. Like, uh, sing, like, it's in the Torah. It's in the Kabbalah. Are you crazy? Of course Sage is a thing. Of course Sage is a, is a thing. Not a thing. Wait, is it in the Torah? I haven't read no. the Torah. Well, well, it's in. I mean, it's not in that Kabbalah. good of a Jew. It's in Kabbalah. It's in definitely Kabbalah. There's an energy okay. in the world, and you want to clean energy out. I'm with it. A hundred percent. In my apartment, when we, if I'm watching television, and there's like a really bad, I don't watch the news at all. I never watch the news. I I see the news as like a television series, and I once in a while I catch a few episodes. You know, like. When the pandemic began, I never put the TV on ever. People would call me up, are you okay? You're in New York. I go, I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> Goodbye. I have no idea what you're talking about. Literally. And then there's things that the election, I put a little bit of that on for a while. The insurrection was a good <laughs> series. That was a good one. But now this is in your apartment, all this crazy news. And then the ads come on. Do you have cancer? Do you have psoriasis? Do your bladder not work? <laughs> and it's in your walls. It, the walls absorb that stuff. So you sage the apartment. You get that out. If you have a guest who's miserable, if your guest is judging, oh, where did you get that from? Really? <laughs> You're making that much money? You're this and that? Well, a Louis Vuitton trunk? Wow. Okay. <laughs> then you got to sage that. I also have a bell. I'm not going to get into the bell with you, but I have a bell. I have a special bell from Tibet. Oh, that's nice. I have a special bell from Tibet. I'm, I'm, I'm looking only at you because I don't, I don't want to see what, what his face is going through. No, right I, now. I like it's a special bell. It costs like $300, but when you ding it, you can, it's like, it, it cleans the apartment out from crazy energies. It's it's insane, the bell. The bell is, I think, is stronger than the sage. I'm totally with all this. Do you meditate? Not particularly. So, you know what, maybe a little bit. I, I mean, there's davening. There's that. Yeah. You know, by the way, another thing of mine. The I prayer. Mean, it's, davening it's not, is prayer. It, it, it's, For all those of you named O'Brien watching like, this right <laughs> now. I like, I, like the, I like that Krishna Das guy. I like the rock star of yoga. Do you know what I'm talking Mm-mm. about now? I so like Kirtan. I like, it's in the, they're Nagundam. I have no idea what he's saying, but I like it. He, so, yeah, he, so he likes, likes Hare Krishna, Scientology. Uh, yeah, he okay. experiments in all of that. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> by the way, you know what? <laughs> In all seriousness, you're very spiritual, very. and you're and and you're not cynical, and that's something we disagree about. No, you're I'm not you ever, cynical. You're not cynical. I'm not cynical. You are not cynical. You're an, you're an optimist. You're not. I'm definitely an optimist. You're an optimist. You think the best. You 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 can see the worst and turn it into comedy, but you're an optimist. You're you're good. You're you you're you're very connected. You're much more. I'm. I'm there's no bull. I. 
See, I can't believe that your your main rabbi was Rabbi Sachs, and you're saying that was one of them. I mean, they were racist. So, so, so that, so those are your rabbis now. Who, so those are your rabbis for like so, nitty grittiness, yeah. yeah, for nitty grittiness. But like, who's your mm. spiritual spiritual rabbi, teacher that you you are? Oh, you have to get uh, yeah, one. I don't have one. Don't Not have the one. Rebbe. No. Reb, uh, Reb no. Shaila. So, uh, no. Reb Shaila keeps the uh, the rats away from our shul though. Ma- the mice and rats. Uh, you know, after, you know by the way, after I, just said, after I just said I'm not into magic, but I'm like desperate. <laughs> I'm desperate. I'm so desperate on this one. <laughs> <laughs> one of the greatest living rabbis that's not too far from our time was Reb Shaila of Kerastir. And, uh, and there's a thing that if you have his picture in your house, Mice don't come. Oh come on! One hundred percent. You'll see it in all the Hungarian restaurants. So it hit all the. That's yeah, I know it amazing. works. It works. Yeah. It works. It works. It works. It works. Sort of, it, yes. And uh, if you go to and we sell pictures of him on our yeah. merch, a part of our merch. No, oh, just that kidding. is no, we, so good. No, we're working on it. We, I, I am working on that. No, I, so hold yeah. on. There's a whole segment now. I call it. I'm. Uh, this is a new thing. I'm calling it. Save it for the podcast. It's all that happens in the room before you, you the f- podcast begins. So, of course, this rabbi is, this rabbi, Gav, my friend, is insanely into merch. It's almost an addiction you have. Yeah, it's well, almost uh, an addiction you yeah. have. So he has, every once in a while, yeah, just yeah. new yarmulkes. But that say the no, you craziest know, no, you thing know what, on you know what I'll tell you. I'm a little creative. I like I, I a draw, little creative. I draw no, he's a little bit. I you know I can I, I I can be sort of funny, and so how do you you know you, you, all these organizations they take themselves so seriously. They give out. I want to walk ar- I want to walk around with with a T-shirt that says Ramaz on it. Huh. Like are you crazy? Like never. I would never wear that. What could you create that people would wear that's funny, that's interesting, and that also creates a similar like sense of pride. But uh, shul pride, and that maybe people from outside of the shul would also, and also, also, how do you like? How do you indicate shul is synagogue? So how do you indicate that you're modern, that you're like you understand fashion or current events or pop culture? So I went through like a signi- I'm still going through a significant streetwear phase, where like we have we we did shul preem instead of it's amazing. Supreme. It's on his it's hat. So do, we have, do we have the mm-hmm. engineer? Uh, could, is the cat is the hat c- catching this? Miles. He's fully asleep. <laughs> M- M- Miles is fully asleep. Do we catch the hat? Oh no! <clears throat> so okay, is he we'll, we'll, supreme we'll in the in the supreme? We'll fix it in post. We lost him at Tishrei. Oh, yeah, exactly. Wait, I want to explain the other two things. No, we, so the yarmulkes. Go we ahead. Did, so we we did we did the antisocial kiddish club. That's amazing. Uh, and the masks so and the masks we of the did. antisocial masks. So, is so amazing. right when, when 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 Trump first announced he was running and came out with the make sure make uh, make America great again. So I like I immediately called my, my, my yarmulke guy and I said like the most horrible red, the most terrible courier font, make shul great again. Like I, I need five hundred of them. Like like send it to China now. And we got it in about three weeks. And I think we were really one of the first The first jokes, the first. The first ones to joke about that back when it was still funny. And uh, yeah, it's not so funny anymore. <laughs> it kind of became a thing. Um, yeah, so we did that. We did we did straight out of Sixth Street. Um, I love it. It was. Uh, it I love it. it we do end. special perm it ones. End. I, have, I have a, we're do we're we're doing not a special nanach now. A nanach okay, they can't do too specific, but like just little things like back. He did this yarmulke like with an eighty style. Maybe you know like when you went to bar mitzvahs mm-hmm. back in the day. And because we were going into the uh, 5780 in the yeah. Jewish year, yes, it's niche, but it's whoever gets it gets it so hard, and it's yeah, so it's amazing. Great. It's yeah. really I mean, brilliant. That's, like a, that's, a, that's, a, that's a, my first job was in marketing, actually. Yeah, and me that too. That's why I'm obsessed. So that was like I, I really look at my uh, the shul prem one is amazing. My, uh, my shul is, is 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 very much directed by that kind of outlook, and uh, you know how can you project these sorts of how can you project these sorts of vibes and 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 get people in a joke? We have all we get orders, we get orders from all over the world for our swag. We've just like sh- like shipped to Italy, like weird stuff. It's 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 so the, funny. The, the 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 little swag I have, and it's it's miraculous how it sells. London, I mean to England and uh, South Africa. And and all these, they buy it more than America. Yeah. It, to London, my cups. I have uh, these Yoeli cups. The character I do, Yoeli, the 
the early 2020, the one I ran for president, and then you have the one that's Secretary of Simcha, Secretary of Happiness, and they, every time I look at the order, London, South Africa, Australia, amazing. But anyway, you have this, the Supreme here. The yeah, we had the uh, we had the cholent in the we the cholent hats. I, those those are a huge huge deal. It's in the it's in the Compton that 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 old English font, but instead of Compton, it says cholent, which is just like so unambitious. You know, like none of us have been no, none of us have been marginalized. None <laughs> of us, like none of us have like not fit in. You know, this is like I'm an accountant. I wear a cholent hat. Like it's hilarious. And then you have so over here is. Otisville Kolel. Otisville is the, the prison where all the <laughs> Jews go to for tax evasion or whatever the hell they do. And Kolel is like where you, where you study yeah. where, after you're married. So Otisville Kolel, which is hysterical. Did you do that graphic? Yes. It's gorgeous. Yeah, I mean, seriously, so this much. is like really, br- these are brilliant. This is brilliant. The motto, the motto of Otisville Kolel is from on the inside. Oh Boom. my God! Or or so either that or orthodox, orthodoxy reform. Oh I, I like my that God, that is hysterical. Yeah, these are the things I, I these are the things Wait, I daven over. This is um, I want to now now we have people in the studio who don't <laughs> get this, but I am undone from this hat. So now in the orthodox world, there's the modern orthodox, like you see the young Israel. They wear the yarmulke and that's chill. Then you have the black hatters. They wear a black hat. Not the Hasidish with the round black hat, but the regular black hat. Fedora. The, it's a, fedora. Fedora, a fedora. And the number one, um, the number one uh, maker of this, and that's when you know you, that they He's spent money, that they spent money on the, this hat, is this company out of Italy called Borsellino. So it's a Borsellino black hat. And he made a Borsellino black hat. Oh that is my the logo God. of the... When you walked in with this today, I was blown away. So that was actually not me. That was a present. So a friend of mine made it for me. And David and... And, and, and yeah, we're making them. We're, ma- we're, when, we're making them. When em. I did the roast that you wrote, I had told nobody that you wrote any of it until now. So how would you not take credit for this? Whatever. This is I've almost better enough. than anything you've it's done enough. This <laughs> is so good. <laughs> this is so genius. Okay, I'm bringing earphones. I'm such an idiot. Um, That's genius. It's absolutely. It's it's the black hat, Borsellino. The black hat. You know who we should call. You know who we should call to do a sponsor. So these hats cost like three hundred, five hundred dollars or more. For what? A a Borsellino. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I'm not in the market. You're in the market. So these two guys, these two guys in Crown Heights. Which is the number one place where people bear? They're a Hasidic sect that doesn't wear those. Uh, they wear Borsellinos. That's like the hat they wear. And these two kids there, uh, kids, two guys that are, they decided to make the same hat, but not Borsellino, and half the price. It's the Uniqlo version. It's the, it's the <laughs> Uniqlo version. But listen, but they called me. They wanted to give me a hat. I have their hat. It's a great hat, but I'm not Tom Papa, so I'm not wearing hats ah. like that. And so. Yes. And so, but now I see on their Instagram, first of all, they're blowing up, and they're blowing up not in the Jewish community. Rappers and like just, dis- awesome. it's incredible. I have to get the name of this thing, but you should definitely reach out to the them. The internet, the, inter- the Instagram, wow, I forgot internet the name made of everything the, weird, man. It's, it's weird. so, but it's, it's I'm so, so happy from that now. story. I'm just so happy from that story. It's such a great uh, uh, story. I, I see the word at the 51 minute mark. Uh, this thing flew by so fast. Um, wh- what should we end with? I mean, like, we got to start wrapping this up. But I mean, I'm so happy this was with you. Yeah, thanks, man. It thanks. was such a great. Uh, this is a podcast now. It's a this thing. Is a po- it's, it's, a, a thing. it's a podcast. It's a thing. And I promised my listeners that she'll be wearing sleeves next time she does this shirt when we do merch. We want to do. Is that thing behind? Yeah. We want to do uh, the. Uh, so, and here's Modi. Yeah. And so, uh, she. It was her idea. To do you can take the credits. A H M, but like when you do it Hebrew, like you know that the little, oh, like the the yellow star font. No, that's not where I was going. But okay, we're all going oh, to start going? wearing yellow stars. Though. <laughs> Is that not what you're talking about? <laughs> Put the A H M here. Are you insane? What are you talking about? It worked, are you it, it insane? Worked, it worked once. It'll work again. Oh my god. <laughs> no. 
I don't know. Maybe I, re- I, re- I, I as long as, 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 long as these are coming out of his mouth, do not edit any of this. This is him. I, don't, I, I think it's the best thing in the podcast so far. But I just met when you write things like like Bezat Hashem, you know, you put those little like Zichrono lebracha. You put like the, the little, the little like, like, like quote like marks. The chuchik. The chuchik. Right. Yeah, I, I, yeah. I, I, I also What's call it chuchup. with the apostrophe. Right. So is it two or one? If it's multiple letters, it's if it's more than if it's more than one letter, it's two. So it's two little things. Two no, little no, things. he's the oh, du- no yeah. grammar and Hebrew so and writing. Right? He's a genius. Yeah, that's good. Because you told me cute? it was one. That's good. That's cute. It's cute. That was it's her cute. idea. No, you need two. You need two because yeah. it's yeah. more than one letter. Oh, that's that's the law. Who? How do you know these things? Rabbi Sachs taught me. Oh, you better shut up. Um, wait, are we we wrapping it up? <laughs> No. I'm no, we're good, right? We'll keep going. What about that? What? Well, in Hebrew. By the way, and here's my it's, it's hilarious. It's also like ahem, like ahem. yeah. Ahem. That's what she yeah. said. Ahem. That's smart. Ha ahem. Uh, should, we start, should we start a marketing firm together? Um, I did this forever before I decided I was going to stop. Now I just do it for you know this yeah. kind of stuff. But she, yeah, we can talk. Let's get on this. She produces the Comedy Sellers web, uh, the Comedy Sellers podcast. Okay, great. Where they control her, but here she controls more. Perfect. So it's, uh, am I right or wrong? You're wrong. Uh, <sighs> wait, wait, wait. No, she's genius. She's oh, great, you're and sweet. she's I love you. wonderful, and uh, and. And, uh, Modi was going to be the cancer at my wedding. That was how I met him. That's right. That's right. And what happened? Um, I murdered my husband and served some time in jail for now. <laughs> no. <laughs> Otis will go well. <laughs> no. I, you know, I don't know if you know, that, but like years ago, I was on the Howard Stern show, and Howard Stern and I started singing together. He goes, Modi, I'm going to do this blessing. I want to see if you end it. And I would always end it. And it was really cute. And people would listen. And this one young couple sent an email to my website and said, can you perform a marriage? We're this Jewish couple and we, we need, um, we, don't, we don't have a rabbi. We're not religious, but we're, we're, we're Jews and we need somebody to marry us. And, um, and I asked at that time the rabbi who was, Berkowitz was the rabbi of our synagogue. Nice. And he was like, yeah. And, and, and uh, they wrote me a letter and I registered as a cantor in downtown. downtown. Yeah, yeah. So I have this, if I'm licensed. I'm, I'm that massive that crazy book. book is the craziest <gasps> thing. It's, someone's got to get a picture of that book. Oh, it's amazing. It's this, this thick, this book, this wide. And it's like, like and you each it's, page and you see every priest it's the most and analog, rabbi. It's the most analog thing that like existed ever existed. You have it's to, crazy. we have to see this. Anyway, so they registered me. They wrote a letter, whatever it has to be from the synagogue. He's this, and now I'm registered to do weddings. So I did this one Russian couple's wedding and all of their friends that were there, they had about four friends who were about to get married. They all canceled their rabbis and had me do it. It's amazing. It was because I was so good. Yeah. The singing and I made it fun. I made laughter into it. And then their friends always do. So I never advertised or wanted to do it. But whenever, if I was free and the date was good, I would be the cantor and ma- and the officiant on the wedding. And so I don't know. I don't know how you got to me. I think it's from either your mother or your husband's mother. I think it was from my, my mother, mother. My mother. And they needed somebody, and they said, "Why don't you call Modi? Mm-hmm. Modi gonna make you a very nice wedding." <laughs> and then we met, and we. She was like trying to. She couldn't get it. Like, what is this? So We're in funny. some trade place eating, you know, dr- um, shorts and a tank top and drinking coffee. And she's like, "What do you mean you're gonna do this and that?" And, and I gave you a price. And you weren't happy with the price. That's why you didn't do it. Oh, that's what you, you meant by being cheap. a good Jew. Yeah. You're a good oh. Jew. Yeah. Yeah. You're not paying. Yes. You're not paying for this. Bam. Bam. You're so good at your job, Bam. Jew. I uh, gave her like $1,500 and she was like, no. 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 <laughs> she goes, no, I don't love him that much. Yeah. <laughs> but I will say to you something. I performed about, I want to say maybe 30 weddings. Everyone's still together. Everyone's still together. And once in a while, if I do a Caroline show, since they all know each other, all these Russian oh Jews, all of a sudden I'll look over and see all of them like 20 years later. That's really And strange. they show me pictures of their kids and they, and they my bar mitzvahs of the kids. And this, it's oh, so that's amazing. Really that's it's, really sweet. It's an amazing thing. And I was blessed with... That's um, really sweet. Yeah. Wow. We're not going to top yes. that, are we? No. Yeah, kind of the moment of seriousness. Yes. You know... You've made me so much funnier. 
and that's something like I always think about and I always think about whenever I do these weddings. I do weddings, I try to, I, I, want, I, I want to teach them what, what's going on, I want to say sweet things, but you can do both, you can be sweet and you can be informative. It's much more easy to digest if it's also funny. And you know, I was always like a silly kid and I was like a little bit funny, but like I learned my pauses from you. I learned like meter and I learned, I learned how to work a crowd from you in a way that I, ne that I never did. Just being around you, I, I mean watching you, but just you know, our daily banter, it made me so much, it made me so much funnier. You made me so much better at my job. I, like, so I'm grateful, I'm grateful for your I'm friendship. So happy. And, you, and you also, He's, by the way, handle hecklers very well. Our synagogue, there's a few who just have no problem letting you know what they, in the middle yeah. of his sermon, and he'll yeah. just <laughs> shut the, no, 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 it's amazing. You handle I mean, hecklers How do you very, handle hecklers? Me? Yeah, there are, two, there are two methods. You're either funnier than them, or you like work the crowd against them. Oh, that's, oh that's, yeah. yeah. Work the crowd against them is the easiest. Yeah. And then, don't, but don't forget, when I'm up there, I'm holding a mic. You're right, not, so you're, you're right. you know, but you definitely handle. But I think you, those words are very, very sweet. And, no, uh, it's, I really mean and that. I appreciate I, that. I think about that almost daily. That's amazing. Wow. Yeah, no, I'm really grateful. To, I'm you're grateful definitely not that busy. If you're thinking about that daily, you're not that busy of a man. Ooh, Ooh, wow. Not too much. Wow. See, I can't take a compliment. I know. It's weird. I can't take a you compliment. You have to just say thank you. Thank no, you. People don't know how to take compliments. It's a thing. It's a very hard thing it's for, hard. for I do. I know how to take compliments. Really? You're a good you? Jew. Hey, I love Jew. your shirt. Thanks. I love your Jewiness. Thank I, you. I love how, what a good Jew you are. Thank you. Yeah, I, I, love, I love what a good self-proclaimed <laughs> Jew you are. <laughs> <laughs> you think you are. Oh, my God. Want to come for the high She's, holidays? She, I'm, I'm on a high holidays. She doesn't do this. Yeah, like, nah, I didn't do that me. one. <laughs> nah, I, didn't, I didn't do that sin. No, no. no. I, okay. No, that, no. I don't believe in that one. So we got one or two you do, and that's it. <laughs> that one doesn't resonate with me so much. got to edit this list down. Yeah. Stupid. Oh my uh, god! Um, this was great. This was this so right. much fun. I knew it would be. You were the perfect first guest. It's all uphill from here, man. It's all. It's who's all. Who's next? I'm really looking. Rabbi Sax is dead, so that's no. Who's right. next? Um, it's gonna be hard to follow you, oh. and I'm uh, and I can't imagine you not being on here again. I would love to be. I would. It's right. So it's such a uh, for sure. Yeah, we're gonna definitely build this up, and people are gonna. It's funny. They were laughs, and that's what's important. We're not sitting here talking about politics and Ugh. my ver my vision of Israel. Knesset. Ugh. Ugh. Nothing. I know nothing about what's happening in Israel's yeah. politics. By the way, nothing. Anyway, it's not uh, great. No, but no. I, I but I don't pretend to know. Which would probably be another podcast. We go, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching. Um, on the on the on on the on the Instagram, I almost said. Sometimes I phrase things that are so horrible. I go. Call me on the computer. <laughs> um, uh, okay, on, on Instagram, it's at Modi underscore live. ModiLive.com, uh, uh, which will lead you to everything. That's my website. And, um, and this podcast is, uh, is, is this podcast, which will eventually have its own website and all that stuff, right? Yeah, that's it. I don't uh, want to. If I don't turn around, they don't see the thinning in the back. Uh. This way, it's like, hey, how are you? Okay, thank you all for being a part of it. And here's Modi is saying goodbye. Thank you.